don't know whether it's just my own feeling. Not as crowded, I think, compared to yesterday. Hey, come to me Yo! The 59% discount. Free global shipping. Oh my god. There are limited quantities of this box. There will be a giveaway and there's gonna be lucky draw. I know that you guys are really excited about the market mukang. However, pause guys. Pause, pause. I have something very exciting to share with you. So if you guys have been staying tuned to my YouTube, staying to my Instagram or TikTok, you will have realized that I will be having my very own K Beauty box. Sorry <laughs> if um that is too much excitement, but I'm super, super, super super thankful to be given this opportunity to be able to sort of curate something for you guys that are watching this video so as you guys know i have been a little bit more um obvious about my interest in skincare k-beauty and everything else under this category only because i feel very personally as a singaporean a lot of new and upcoming korean brands which are really really like soaring in the market right now especially globally um not really as known in singapore and i as a singaporean feel like i have a duty and a call to make sure that you guys know about it of course not only for singaporeans but whoever is watching this video and you're interested in k-beauty K skincare, K makeup, anything under this um, umbrella, I would very much love to introduce all this kind of goodies to you so that you guys will not miss out. Without further ado, let me dive in straight to what I really wanted to introduce today, and it is my spring blush box. This week, guys, is me. Through um, the months of discussion, I really wanted to do like the spring theme for you guys. Only because spring is my favorite season of the year, and I really wanted to sort of make something um, a little bit more pinkish for you guys. Maybe because it's my favorite color. I love how spring sort of defines the end of a winter and a beginning of a new season, bringing lots of like warmth and joy and love. That's the reason why I wanted to do a spring box for you guys. Let's do my usual unboxing! The box guys! Oh my god! This is like my very very first K-Beauty box and my very very own K-Beauty box and I'm so proud of it! I will be bringing spring to your doorstep. Okay, let's open it together. It's gonna be my face haunting you 24-7. This pamphlet will have every detail you need inside to know about the box. Guys, it's all pink color products okay uh, i just wanted to cover you guys from the beginning of cleansing all the way to end of like sunblock and even protection for your lips so first and foremost it's always cleansing your face understand that sometimes in singapore i never knew about this before but nowadays there's a trend to double cleanse and reason why there's a trend is because it works i feel like sometimes when we put makeup we don't realize how much it actually stays in our skin or even in our pores the only reason why i feel like my skin got a lot better because i learned about double cleansing this is not a stranger to you guys if you know about k beauty but it's the very og vanilla coke zero cleansing balm okay so i have been using this since i was flying as you guys know as a stewardess we always put a lot of thick makeup if you ask any stewardess they will totally swear by this only because so good at removing the makeup on your face any kind of thing on your face it literally melts it it works trust me trust the process you just have to follow the steps first you have to rub it all over your face first so that this balm itself when it touches the makeup like face to face you know like fighting the makeup like that it will remove the makeup first before you emulsify it with a little bit of water and continue rubbing the reason why this is very important is especially for this vanilla cold balm it helps to melt the makeup on your face and not only that it helps to clean your pores 
even to the very bit of ultra fine dust inside it from your makeup from the environment because you know the air is not always clean this is swarmed by hundred percent of koreans that have lived living here they always have one of this in their room you don't believe me just ask your korean friend you know some of you guys don't like the oily thing in your face and you feel like oh but if it's oily how Will it cause pimples and stuff like that? No, it will not. Contains jojoba oil. Helps to remove the, remove the fine impurities in your face as well as helps to cleanse blackheads. Number two, of course, I got you covered. PH Cleanser. This PH Cleanser is from Mary and May. It's actually a brand that I have been loving a lot only because I was very intrigued by their actually essence. The one that has like two layers to it. However, because it's a little thick, that's the reason why I didn't include it inside. So I have figured out what is the lightest um, product for all of you staying in humid country and that's the reason why I made this box. Especially for all those people living there, okay? Moving on, this Mary and May um, Hyaluronic Gel Cleanser. It's actually vegan and it contains a grapefruit extract. In addition, Hyaluronic Acid. 10 types of it because I believe that when you use a cleanser, it's not to sort of make sure it's like super clean but it also has to retain moisture in your skin. Especially in hot weather, when it gets hot, you try to dry your skin too much, your face will just tell you like, oh, your face is dry, you need to produce more oil and then more oil comes up. So that's not really what we want. That's the reason why I feel like low pH gel cleanser will be very very suitable for those people staying in humid countries, especially Singapore. And for me, a little bit of oily T-zone, it works like magic. Safe as well for sensitive skin. That's the reason why I really really love this cleanser. It's like a kill two birds with one stone kind of thing okay third product will be this birdie toner if you guys have been watching my instagram you will have realized that i have been using this toner nowadays only because i swear by tea tree why it is so important for people in humid weather is because when your skin barrier is exposed to you know heat it starts to like cause a lot of bumps in the inside it and it will form on your face and it looks very like unpleasant the reason why i always have some kind of tea tree in my skincare routine some people with sensitive skin that cannot use it but this one is very very light because they use tea tree water extract not like something very you know intense it is eight percent tea tree extract as well as the third part of this is vitamin b12 so I did a little bit of research what's so good about vitamin B12 not only it protects the skin barrier from damage by inflammation especially when you're in a hot country like Singapore it also helps to relieve the skin from itchiness, redness, irritation and all kinds of cracked skin so that's the reason why I decided to put this in the box however if it's too thick I know some people don't really like it so this one is a toner which is very very light like water moving on to the fourth product I know when it's hot people don't like to put stuff and it was very similar for me and I always prefer something lightweight so I found the perfect 3-in-1 serum that has everything inside Face Republic in Forever Rose Serum Why do I say it's 3 on? Firstly, Rose It's a very good um, calming ingredient for the skin Not only does it have like a very natural scent like a little bit of aromatherapy secondly it is also a very very moisturizing ingredient for all kinds of skin types and recently because i have been um very very big on anti-aging only because i feel like anti-aging has to start young because if you start at 40 it's gonna be too late i know that the very very popular anti-aging products like collagen retinol and stuff like that might be a little bit too thick and heavy for young skin but i do have some retinol products that do not fit my skin it just caused me a lot more breakouts and sometimes some rash and burn however if you have this kind of problem rose is something that you want to um move on towards because it does have anti-aging properties as well so there's the three things not only contains rose water it contains bakuchiyo also that helps work on wrinkles and lift the face with actually a little bit of a subtle glow not the oily kind because i know that in singapore when you put too much stuff it becomes very oily but this one is very very subtle glow that makes you look very looks a lot younger so this video is getting a little bit long so i, I wanted to just like make it fast working right now fifth product will be this 
Poromizing Light Gel Cream from Skin Chonsa. I wanted something that is more targeted for people who are in humid weather because that's the reason why I create a box. Of course, after looking at all this box, you feel like you want something else from other brands. I'm not gonna stop you, but this one is something that I specially and very, very dedicatedly made for you guys because I believe that's the skin type that um, needs this kind of skincare in that kind of weather because I've been there, right? I literally lived there 26 years of my life. Looking for a cream, actually, that is not thick. That's the reason why gel cream. And secondly, I always want to target the pores oil secretion and all the kind of blackhead, whitehead in Singapore because I feel like that is quite of an issue that not many people talk about but after searching all the creams I feel like this is the most suitable with whatever I have been putting together for you guys to end off with this step last but not least for skincare I decided to add this um, product in is because I feel that what's so innovative about K-Beauty nowadays is they try very much to be eco-friendly and also you know free of animal testing and vegan and I feel like this brand has really like topped it because in 2024 i haven't seen something like that and it is the sunscreen from skin food okay so this is the berry glowing sun cream look at it oh my gosh i feel like i'm always you know like i mentioned before always must worth the money affordability effectiveness matchability right what's so interesting about this packaging is you can see when you're almost done you can just tear it off inside this one is actually cranberry as you can see the cranberry inside it contains vitamin c vitamin e flavonoids and atosinonite it's a brightening and antioxidizing that actually leaves the skin with an inner hydrated glow coming to the end and guys i really wanted to explain this to you guys because i don't want you guys to just buy it and just feel like oh it looks pretty and stuff so i should buy it but i wanted to sort of tell you a little bit more and educate a little bit about um what is inside the product so lastly lip care from Alicia. okay so what why I decided to also add in a lip care is because I wanted to include something that could be sort of like a makeup and a moisturizing balm at the same time like all in all and that's the reason why there is this one Alicia Glacier Vegan Lip Balm so there's a magic in this also so let me just show you why is there a magic if you see my Instagram once again you already know if you can see the balm is blue right it's super shiny and you guys are wondering hey how can this be pink if you were to constantly apply it on your lip not only it gives you a glitter effect it will also start to change into a very light pink and I think it's very very wearable for all kinds of um season outfit and or any kind of style also good about this balm is not only can you use it on your lips you can use it at your eye also like an eye makeup you can draw it at your egg girl's eye so this is actually a multi balm not just a lip balm okay so it's very very interesting and i just wanted to put uh, something cute and something interesting for you guys so that you can like sort of you know proud of it or you can show it off like hey guys it's blue but look pink you know kind of thing so that is all for the main products that are inside and now I just wanted to show you some of the goodies that we have inside. If you purchase this box, the brand Mary and Me has very very kindly included this and this is like a you know worth it box. This itself costs 25 bucks okay. So by putting it in you actually get your money's worth. Be a small light cleansing oil. This one the Medi Madagascar Centella one. We have um, the Face Republic Serum, Sun Essence as well as this carotene pad. Definitely you want to know how much it costs. How much do you think about cost guys? There are like at least seven in seven stuff. So there Oh. Ah! These products actually cost a total of all together, okay, everything added together, 167 and 61 cents USD. So because I did a little bit of conversion, that actually cost $26.41 Singapore dollars. So that is the original price of this whole box that we're trying to get to you guys. However, because I'm doing this little event and I really really wanted to share this um, love for K-beauty and skincare with y'all I kind of asked them is it okay if we sort of bring the price down because 
I really wish you guys can try it. Managed to bring the price down to a total of 59% off. Okay, it's not half price, guys. It's more than half price. It's 9% more than half price. And where are you even gonna get that kind of discount? I assure you, any kind of sale from Shopee, Lazada, Q10, anywhere, you cannot get this kind of deal off. Gonna go at a total of 69 USD dollars and of course your girl here Singaporean did a conversion that is gonna cost you 93 dollars and 23 cents a 59 percent discount I know how big Singaporeans are about discounts so if there's a 59 percent discount you don't even think you just freaking cart it out and pay now and in addition because um the brands love Singaporeans so much the brands love you guys so much and love me so much and I love you guys so much also they are actually offering free global shipping oh my god I feel like shipping is always like my biggest concern because every time I want to buy something I'll think like oh I buy all this already and I have to ship the products then I don't want to buy you know that kind of thing but they are offering free global shipping can you imagine that so literally you really buy this product for USD 69 only and you can literally get it to your doorstep with no extra charge no tax no nothing free global shipping okay and all you have to do is order it from this new Glow website and when you order it make sure you just click the country you're in key in the right address and it will get to your doorstep but I just want to put it out to you guys that there are limited quantities of this box so Please do get it while stocks last, okay? There will be a giveaway and there's gonna be lucky draw. Very, very much love for you guys to win all of this and get all of this to your house. But I cannot help you buy it. I really hope that you guys can get this to you. The spring box is something that is very, very dear to me because it's my first time doing it as content creator and I'm very, very thankful for all your support up to today. And that's the reason why I felt like I had to take the confidence and the bravery to take this step to create something for you all. Okay, so I just hope that you'll support me and K-Beauty in this process. Thank you so much for watching this part of it. And now, without further ado, let's head over to the market book. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my channel. And today, we are at the night market of Sauté Mungu. Yeah, so basically there's a spring market going on right now in um, our area. We wanted to introduce a little bit to you because I was actually looking for market mukbang to film but there's really no more markets and just nice this street food market open just near our place okay so during spring there's a lot of events in seoul they have this kind of food trucks in like kangnam also and in kangamun but if you head there it's gonna be super crowded because there's a lot of people there however the food here looks very nice decent and uh, a lot less people and they of course decorate it very nicely so we chanced upon this place yesterday when we were filming the other video and I thought this can be a video on itself so yep. this is the reason why we are here today but it's just closing time that's why it's a bit like messy and clearing up behind yeah we wanted to take a walk and stuff but we only reached at 7-ish and we have about half an hour to finish the food so we just hurried up with uh, ordered the food that there is and um, basically there's like all kinds of food there's more food like downstairs as well but not if, that much yeah not that much if we get to go down we'll show you but if not most of the food is actually in this uh, main um, yeah area so they have like noodles takoyaki grilled shrimp uh, satay korean satay yeah, okay takangjong uh, popcorn chicken pizza, pizza. what's that another satay <laughs> and then they have uh, tteokbokki uh -huh. and then some ice cream Oh, that's ice cream. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, right. what we decided to get is actually this one, the takuchi, which is not a stranger to you guys. It's hot. They like literally cook it there. And then I really want to eat this from yesterday. It's not naughty thing, but I just wanted some carbs. And it's hot. I can feel it's hot. And then we also got some takoyaki because I wanted to eat takoyaki. And everybody's eating the yaki soba, bokumyeon. That's the reason why we got it. So, this is our spread. Not a lot because it's a lot. Oh, is it? I really wanted to get the something yeah, else, but crazy lunch, guys. Yeah, I don't think we can do it. Just wanted to show you the punii and tell you what it tastes like and how it feels like. I hope you can feel the atmosphere when you're here. We literally rushed here because we didn't know we were gonna make it in time, but just for you guys. Okay, let's try. Makan. How much was it? Six. Mmm. Mmm. 
Is it okay? No need to go to Japan already. Don't lie. That's it. Mmm. Yo, it's not bad. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. And what's so good about here is you have to queue so long, you know. Mm. We get even a seat, man. Yeah. Kangamun and Chamsi, right? You will have to queue at least one hour. And, and you have to sit on the floor. Yesterday we talked about it that they use this recyclable, usable plate. Yeah. So it's not messy, not full of trash. It's beautiful, yeah. really. And the floor is clean. There's no like much trash on the floor, which but is very, very nice. It's also only for the neighborhood. Actually, it's a That's bit true. like Pasar Malam. Style. Yeah, in the Sarang High class oh. pasta malam. Now oh, we're gonna try noodles. I really don't have much expectation for this, but wow. I see many people eating it, so I see the pizza is actually quite beautiful, but it's too much. Really. <laughs> yeah, One pizza we can't eat other rest. Really. <laughs> is it okay? What? what? I thought you? you don't like. Okay. Is it? I mean, I don't like to buy, but doesn't mean that it is bad. Oh, this tastes so nice. Good. Mmm. Really? Heaven. Oh, what's up? My stuff? They even give a beef, man. This is so nice. I thought it would be very dry and like disgusting. You know, sometimes when you go to a very. Like, if you go to Byeongdong, sometimes it might be cooked for very long and dry, but this one is good. I know you use a wok to cook it. Nice, eh? Mm. Really? Do you have for that nice? I think because all the words are really just me. On the spot, ah. Uh. Mmm. Like that. Mm. Can you hear the guy singing? I did not expect much for the food. Compared to other night markets, okay, I think. Yeah. Some night markets, right? It's expensive, firstly, because it's touristy. Secondly, it's just expensive mm. cost. It costs a lot to, you know, build up the place. These two are not the food that you do, like, but nice. Mmm. It's a nice takuchi. Wow! Nice? Very tender. You have the cool mud. Wow, a bit spicy, man. Yeah, I bought me one mud for you. Ah, you should have told me. What? <laughs> I swallowed the sauce, wow. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Uh, not bad. I like that there's a lot of families here also. And the food is really. And I think because it's in a small neighborhood, right? They are more friendly to each other. That's not like the people were like, oh, you can use this table. Ah, like you know that maybe you could just stay here. Oh. I just like that nowadays, like, Korea is coming up with new stuff for people to enjoy after cook. But it seems like this is the first time they are doing it. It's really smart, it's really smart. Ask for a favor. You can get it. Cheers. I feel like it, My drink. it's a bit back before COVID, suddenly. Why you cannot eat meat? Actually, you see, right? Almost every table got kid though. Why would why would Korea say there's a low birth rate? Doing well. What? <laughs> Happens to be. <laughs> but I feel like maybe this is the place where it's a quite friendly, family friendly area. That's why mm -hmm. maybe a lot of kids are. Oh, no, I go to the convenience shop so funny, all the adults like Which beer? Which beer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if, you can, if they can drink here, but everyone drinking eh Seems like it though, you can yeah. just bring it oh, that, grandma, that grandma drink beer with a straw eh, wow <laughs> Jackers man Very nice eh, um, actually in Korea Food trucks are kind of big in Singapore right, but here um, I feel still feel they are trying to adapt to this culture whereby there's a sharing space where everybody can come together because it's not easy to like we don't you have Kopitiam culture. Yeah, those kind of things. And I think it's very useful for the community spirit. And I think this place is doing really really well. We're just very blessed that it happens so that when we are here, suddenly we realize a lot of these kind of things. As well as you saw from the previous video. So you want to know more about what um, they do here, there's an other video also. I like actually behind there, got, still got the waterfall and... All yeah, let's show you uncle, later. Our uncle, auntie, right? You can sit there and lay uh, They gossip about their kids, children and all. Yeah, there. confirm. Okay. Makan. But I think you stay DMC, right? You have to come here. Yeah. Right. You have to cross the... DMC is not even that good. We must be considerate. Yeah, they're gonna close the A. So, Naughty's gonna return these bowls at there. That small place there. 
And then maybe we'll go down and have a walk and just walk around because everything here is going to close and show you what's there. Okay, yeah, so across it's 8 o'clock, we got chased out of the seats, but because they have to do their job, we don't have a choice. It's okay. But I just wanted to show you I think the cafe area. Out, actually, we just want to disturb their work, I think. No, anyway, they have to keep it in the end, so oh. it's just job, lah. it's fine. So look at the cafe here. Wow. I think this is the beauty of Korea. You get the uh, nice weather, some kind of like mountain nature in the city. You get the old building and the uh, like modern building with a lot of old people in the modern yeah actually we can just sit there though and then there's people jogging still downstairs look it's a, actually a park guy really nice so this is the Pokpo cafe that a lot of people talk about there's one in Gyeonggi though but guys you don't have to go to Gyeonggi though there's literally one here next to near Hongdae here cafe Pokpo okay and it looks so pretty look they decorated it so nice it's a uh, waterfall so don't think it's real it's uh, artificial it's okay it's all about the gram i mean it's that's why it's good <laughs> <laughs> it's the cafe that um is usually used by um locals i guess most of the time our old people are hanging out here usually. yeah i also think so oh, oh my god you can sit there on top also yeah, eh, guys oh wow you can sit there and enjoy the view can we go there mm. Oh, but wow. it's such a nice view. You can just sit here wow. and enjoy the view. Wow, I, I feel like Korea is so advanced. Anya, you're just in, you're just in the area that's like this. Kobong wasn't like this though. I think it's true, like Different region got different facility. Yeah, I think Gangnam area definitely got more things than here. True, agree. But I think this is like just nice for it, and I decided to take this vlog because I wanted to show you guys what it's like to live in Korea permanently, kind of. And it's really, really nice. I think. So you can sit here. They heat up the seat for our stay. Uh, so we're just sitting here. This is, I think, the the, the, the thing that you make you feel like uh, the thing that makes you feel like Korea is good to stay. Yeah, once in a while, we because you know sometimes when you're so busy with life, you don't get to enjoy this kind of stuff. But also, thankfully, because of our job, sometimes because we have to do, we get to enjoy it. So all thanks to you guys. Okay, let me just show you the view and what we're doing. So basically, this is where we're sitting right now, a high chair, high table. And then that is the fountain. And there's people taking photos. <laughs> and then, this is what it's like behind. Decorated very nicely. I think it's very nice to take pictures also. So if you don't know where to go, Cafe Popo is where you need to be. I didn't know this was open already. Open? Long ago open. You just never come here or? I go walk before. I never. They're packing up ready and this is the rubbish that we throw not that much because a lot of recycling which is very good pretty clean and Yay. not smelly yeah and do it very well actually because everyone is watching that's the power of korea the nunchi no like, i think because we are trained to do uh, that's true recycling. also okay so this comes to the end of this episode i hope you enjoyed this spring market mukbang it's something very very impromptu and abrupt because i really want to show you what it's like this uh, very simple nightlife of uh, the kumins which is the sodemun kumins because this is where we stay and uh, I hope you enjoy it of course um, after you see this video this market might not be here anymore however I'm quite sure the one at Kwang Hwa Moon and the one at uh, Chamshi is still going on the Pampo area okay so if you would like to visit maybe you can ask me in the comment section and I'll leave the description I mean the location link in the description box so you go check it okay thank you so much for watching this video and if you like more of this content remember to leave it in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one bye